trying out the Amsoil Signature 1540 Max Duty for the 97.73 Power Stroke. Always try to fill the filters up from the outside. Takes a little while, but then the it's all filtered because the clean parts from the center up to your motor. I always take my time and pour it from the outside. Here's the oil I was running before the decided to try out AMS oil. And you know you drive a real truck when the filter holds two quarts. And uh, don't forget to lube up your O-ring when you go to change it again it'll be real hard to get off maybe a little bit down here in the threads but I don't think that does much really mm. remember just to go hand tight and then just a little bit more I usually just go hand tight but you can always go a little bit quarter turn past there they say it's good for 25,000 miles. It's supposed to filter better and all that jazz. Uh, there's some instructions. I, I didn't read them. But, uh, don't know if I'll run it to the 25. And uh, these things are pretty cool if you can find them for your car. I think they're called an easy drain or something. It's got a little safety here and then you can Turn it down and drain her out. Pretty nice. Drains a little slower. The only thing I don't like about it. Now we need to put the rest of the 13 quarts in. Seven three takes quite a bit of oil. Uh, Am's oil site says 14. I've always filled it up at 15. So that's what I'm going to continue doing. Let's put the 15 quarts in. Just in case you guys wanted to watch, just imagine doing this 15 times. Well, 13, because two went in the filter, but. And if you, uh, not really sure how to change your own oil, I uh, don't know why you're this far into the video, depending on where I splice it all together. But, uh, don't take any of my information to heart. I'm just a redneck in the garage. So, if you don't know how to do it yourself, probably just go to a shop. Have them do it for you. There's the almost four gallons that came out of the truck. Most of the bottles from filling it back up. Here's all the mumbo jumbo salesman crap on the bottle. If you're interested in that or not. And uh, I think I'm gonna leave one quart out, do the freezer test from kind of like what Project Farm does, but a lot crappier because I don't have all those fancy tools, so uh, that might be an upcoming video. Uh, see how this stuff does on the getting it real cold. See if it flows or not. So uh, here's the first startup after switching. See if it makes any noticeable difference. Probably not on the camera, and I don't know if I'll tell 
be able to tell any difference anyway. Pretty smooth. Uh, that ABS slide, because I need to do my vehicle speed sensor in the rear diff. Uh, about to do that in a little bit. Right up here, if I can find it. That's the high pressure oil, uh, how much PSI it's at to fire the injectors. Engine oil temp, RPMs, uh, temperature inside the shop, and a uh, map sensor. Uh, does seem to be running just slightly smoother. Uh, kind of impressed about it, actually. Uh, let's give her some ketchup for the old uh, zip ties and bias plies. That, that was pretty smooth compared to normal. Uh, kind of impressed, but these are just first impressions that might just all be uh, made up in my head, you know? Minty!